Hey everyone, and welcome to another Hemp Tips. Today, we'll be covering how to get rid of fungus gnats from your grow space. Are there small dark flies hanging around your plants? Do they look like fruit flies or small mosquitoes? If so, you might have fungus gnats in your grow space. And while these little adult flyers are completely harmless to you and your plants, once they lay their eggs in the soil, they'll hatch into larvae that'll eat through and decimate your plant roots, leading to slow growth, yellowing and wilting leaves, and ultimately just a sickly plant that won't recover until the fungus gnats have been taken care of. The worst part of it is that since there's no visible damage to the plant above ground, sometimes it's hard to tell why your plants are getting sick until you see a lot of these fungus gnats flying around. So how do we deal with these? Unfortunately, because fungus gnats in the larval stage will burrow into the soil, and then in the adult stage will fly above it, you'll need to deal with both in different ways to ensure that the entire life cycle is being disrupted so that there's no new larvae that'll turn into adult flies and that there's no more adult flies that'll lay new eggs. But before we take a look at the solutions, we'll want to correct anything that might have caused this problem to begin with and to try and prevent it from happening again. Fungus gnats will lay their eggs in moist and wet soil so that when they hatch, the larvae can easily burrow down into it. This means that you'll want to avoid overwatering your plants, ensuring that the topsoil dries at least an inch or two before watering again. Another common method to prevent access to the wet topsoil is to add a layer of pebbles, sand, grow stones or perlite. Just anything that dries really fast on top of your grow medium to detract fungus gnats from targeting your plants in the first place. Now to kill off the larvae living in the soil, there's a couple of products that can be used as a soil drench to get rid of them. A hydrogen peroxide mix is one of the easiest to obtain options and you'll need to mix one part 3% hydrogen peroxide with three parts water before using it to drench the soil. Another option is with the use of either neem oil or Azimax, both of which share the same insecticidal ingredient that's deadly to fungus gnats. And just follow the instructions on the label for how much to use when applied as a soil drench. All of these options will kill the fungus gnat larvae, but unfortunately can also wreak havoc on the beneficial microorganisms in the soil, which are crucial if you're feeding your plants with an organic solid fertilizer or compost. So if that's the case, you can try and replenish the soil with a compost tea or some other microbial soil amendment after these drenches have been applied. Now for the adult flyers, a good old-fashioned sticky fly trap should do the trick, especially near the soil since fungus gnats are not great flyers. And when combined with a soil drench to kill the larvae, as well as better watering practices to deter any new eggs from being laid, it's not too hard to turn an infestation around in any grow space. And that's it. Like the content? Then be sure to check out our beginner's guide to creating CBD products from scratch. Available at Amazon in print and digital with links in the description below. You can also find us at hempinapot.com.